hotel. All right. See you there. Let's go. In Tunisia, the drive to the wedding is an event in and of itself, where you drive as a group, flashing your hazard lights and honking the entire way. When we got to the wedding venue, we greeted the bride's family at the door, and we were given specific instructions for me to follow the girls in and Valentine to follow the boys in. Go follow the girls. Before we get into the rest of the video, I want to show you guys this really cool new spot that just opened up here in La Marsa. Welcome to IEC, a brand new language school and cultural center. IEC is located in a beautiful old Tunisian home, and when you're there, it also feels like home. You can make your own coffee, and then head out to the shared space on the balcony and enjoy it with this beautiful view on the quiet streets of La Marsa. Whether you want to learn English, Tunisian Arabic, Modern Standard Arabic, or French, IEC has you covered. They also offer special English classes to help you get ready for your English university exams or if you need to learn business English for a job interview or if you'd like to better communicate with your English-speaking clients. Apart from the language classes, there's also a cooking club every Saturday where you can learn how to make delicious Tunisian dishes and an English conversation club three times a week. Above all, IEC is a great place to meet new people from a variety of different countries and backgrounds, and there's always something fun going on. Reach out to IEC at plus 216-28-183-718 or on Instagram at IEC underscore Tunisia to join one of their fall language programs or clubs and become a part of the community. The ceremony finally started when the bride arrived. As she walked down the center of the room towards the stage, she was preceded by a huge flag show, a live band, and even incense. The band got everyone excited and we all started dancing around the bride. You can see the boys dancing here in jibbas, which is the traditional dress for men in Tunisia. me trying my best to dance in the Tunisian way. And after a lot of dancing, we decided to take a break and they came out with refreshments. Probably mint tea, hot mint tea with pine nuts on the top. You mean? Emily, Emily. Ah. Why didn't you do that? But we couldn't relax for very long because pretty soon it was time to head back to the stage to welcome the groom to the party. After a bit more dancing, I decided to take a break because my feet were killing me and I found that they were coming around with these really beautiful sweets, all different colors and shapes. They were absolutely gorgeous. It was at this point that the bride came out in her second outfit, which is actually pretty common for Tunisian weddings for the bride to have more than one outfit. And that's one of the reasons why people will tell you that Tunisian weddings can get pretty expensive. At the end of the night, the very last thing we did was gather on the stage as a group and take pictures with the bride and groom.
Ai chic, tá lá aqui. Tá aqui lá. 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 Tá The, uh, the groom's family is going to be organizing that one, so we'll also get to see which side of the family did it better. So, it's wedding day two, the more western style wedding that Tunisians typically have. That's hosted and uh, organized by the groom's family instead of the bride's family like the Oteye yesterday. They're going to do the signing of the marriage contract and um, everybody's wearing more western style dresses so as you can see what i'm wearing could be worn to any wedding in america or europe same with valentine here so uh we'll see what this is like and um we'll see if the if the groom's family or the bride's family does it better valentine You prepare yourself, huh? Yes, sir. Round, round, round two here. Oh, shit. Oh, round two of this. <laughs> oh, goddamn. I was promised there was no more dancing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. هل تقبل بالآنسة عبير بن سامي بن محمد الساحلي الزوجة لك؟ نعم أقبل نعم سينور الدين بن محمد بن سليمان نعويني مرحبا سينور الدين بما أنك شهد هل يوجد مانع شرعي أو قانوني يحول دون أبرام هذا العقد؟ لا مانع ربي هاني إن شاء الله بلا مانع سي سامي سي سامي بن محمد بن مصطفى الساحلي بما انك شاهد هل يوجد مانع شرعي او قانوني يحول دون ابرام هذا العقد؟ لا مانع ربي هاني ان شاء الله بلا مانع. يا صاحبي سمي لك مهر وقدره 20 دينارا شو بيبيعوا لحالهم ها؟ واجمع بينهما في الخير واغنهما بحلالك عن حرامك واغنهما بفضلك عمن سواك يا سميع الدعاء يا رب العالمين ببركة القرآن العظيم وأسمائك الحسنى وببركة أسرار وأنوار سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفنا وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين ربي هاني وان شاء الله بلهنا
That's it for the Tunisian wedding series. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content about Tunisia because I do have a lot more videos coming up and it's not all just about weddings. Uh, and please don't forget to donate to my Patreon so that you can help support me uh, exploring more parts of Tunisia and more parts of the world and sharing them with you. Alright guys, thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.